Hey everyone. Well, now that we're in the new year, I wanted to take a look back at 2018 and see how silver and gold did versus the stock market as far as performance. Because I know there's been a lot of Debbie Downers on, on silver and gold saying how they performed so horribly uh, in the last year. So I wanted to take a look at the data and see how it compares to uh, the stock market, which has been getting rave reviews. Maybe not recently, but it's been, you know, like that's where you have to put your money. That's where you have to put your money. Um, I see it all over the place that that is the place to invest in. So I just want to take a quick look at it and, you know, let's see how the numbers add up. First up, I want to give you guys an idea where I'm getting my information from, and I'll provide links to these two websites down below. This is um, a website that actually shows you the silver spot price. And also, as you can see up here, it will show you the gold spot price as well. Um, so and you can go out as long as you want. You just put one year, five years, whatnot, and you can get the, the data that I'm getting. And here is where I get the, um, the, the stock prices for the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and S&P 500. It's Yahoo Finance. Basically, I'll provide a link exactly to here. It gives you an idea from December 31st to January 2nd, so you can get all the all the data points. Um, as far as the close date, I use the data. I use the close date, the close on December 31st, 2018, and come on, scroll down. Okay. And then on the open on the beginning date, I use the opening of January second. That's the first day they open up, January second, two thousand eighteen. And I do that for all all of them. I'll provide provide both those links down below if everybody wants to check my numbers. So here we go. Here's what everything works out to be. All right, so here we go, guys. And I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought silver had a, a really horrible year myself, but when you look at the numbers, not 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 too bad considering everything else. Apparently, 2018 was a horrible year for uh, um, investments in commodities. And one of those reasons is because actually the U.S. dollar was up 11% last year. Um, so I'm surprised gold and silver actually did as well as they did with the U.S. dollar um, going up. That means if you're actually in gold and silver and other currencies, you actually might have had a pretty decent year for gold and silver. But anyways, so let's, let's take a look. First up, gold. Um, gold start began the year at 1303, ended the year at 1282, $20, only a $20 change that actually outperformed all these other asset classes that, uh, it was only gold was only down 1.6%. Now also not on here, but palladium was the number one metal performance. And that actually only went up 11% last year. That goes to show you how bad almost everything else was is when the best performing metal is palladium and it was only up 11%, which it was far better than all the, all these other stock market indices. So the NASDAQ was up next. You guys can see these numbers. I don't need to read them to you. I want to make this video fairly short. Just get the data out um, to begin a conversation. NASDAQ was uh, down 4.6%, Dow Jones down 6%, S&P 500 down 6.6%, and silver um, was down $1.43, so it was down 8.4%. Um, so yeah, silver was the worst performing one, but hey, you know, I, I, before I even ran these numbers, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. A down year 8.4% when the U.S. dollar was actually up 11% is not bad at all, not bad at all. And beginning 2019, silver's looking pretty good. Silver's looking definitely pretty good. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to see what 2019 brings us. And all I see, all I know is 2018 was a great buying opportunity. And hey, who knows? Maybe 2019 will be a great buying opportunity as well. So, all right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, if those numbers were surprising to you as well, because all I know is everybody was like always saying how awesome the stock market is. So, you know, they're within a they're within a few uh, percentage points of performance, which they all kind of sucked last year. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I should have another video for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.